Hey guys, and welcome to my sinking funds video. I am so excited to share this with you guys. Um, if you're returning, it is so good to see you. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. It is good to have you. Today, I'm gonna be discussing my sinking funds. If I haven't said already, I'm Adriana. Um, and I talk everything budgeting, sinking funds, cash stuffing, and then I also like to throw in um, a little bit of motherhood and just lifestyle into this channel. So if that is something you like, please hit the like button and let's go ahead and just get started. So if you watched my April budget, you'll know that we had recently moved. So I have redone our sinking funds and recalculated our yearly account that is right here. Um, and I'll go over that in a little bit, but as you can see, my sinking funds list has definitely evolved. So there's a lot to kind of peel and un unravel. So let's talk about it. So I do have two types. I have cash envelopes and then I also do have sinking funds. Um, so cash envelopes are for things that are easier for me to cover with cash, obviously. And those include haircuts and that's for my kids and my husband, holidays, I like to just put some cash away and then reimburse myself when I do spend money on it. Beauty, this covers a mani and pedi and my eyebrows. Um, my daughter and I like to get our a pedicure done. Um, not monthly, but whenever this envelope is filled, we'll go ahead and get one. So, and they obviously like cash at these salons. So I always try to carry cash and um, at the hair at the haircut place. Um, they also prefer cash too. So, um, and then car maintenance. I use this for oil changes. Um, actually, just an oil change on our car since my husband has a work vehicle. We don't have to worry about maintenance on that one. So, um, an oil change. I think we get it done every two or three months. Um, so I like to just have that, build it up, and then go ahead, get it done, and then I'll reimburse myself as well. Family Adventures is a cash envelope, um, and that is for just day trips. It's not like for vacation. It's for family adventures. So it's day trips, going on a hike, going out to lunch after uh, road trips, going to a new city, a beach for the day. These are day trips, family adventures. Um, we got family pictures. I'm going to try and get those done this fall. So I'm just trying to build that up. Um, I don't have a set amount for that, but um, I do have an envelope. And then I have propane and firewood, which is a cash envelope. At the old house that we had, we had to buy firewood during the winter time. So obviously that was a cash only transaction as you would get that from people's property so I have it propane firewood because now we need propane at our new place, but no firewood. So um, I have that in a cash envelope. And then this is a new one, which is my hair and highlights. Um, I went ahead and got some highlights done and my hair cut, if you notice that change. And so I'm trying to get that done once a quarter, which is just four times a year. And so I've broken that down. Um, and that came out to $17 a week. So hopefully that works out. And then I have our emergency fund, which is held in cash. And that is built up right now um, at $1,000. I don't contribute anything else to that because we do have an account cushion, which is set at $800, an emergency, emergency fund at $1,000. So... Um, I guess we kind of have ourselves covered if something does happen. And then, like I said, if you watched my April video, I am trying to do an extra car payment. And so that's $40 a month. And I try to do, get that done weekly. So now we're moving on. Those were the cash envelopes. As you see, it says type. Those were in cash. Now the ones marked with a B. Um, are the ones that I keep in a bank account. So those would be my sinking funds. And the reason why I keep those is because it's just easier to transfer between accounts. <clears throat> so in one of my um, bank accounts, I have something called a yearly account. And this covers, 
me see if I can pull up the paper. So this is my yearly account and this is what it covers. It covers a triple A membership, which is around $100. Now I don't know the exact amounts on some of these accounts, so I had to guess, but triple A membership, I put it at 100. Um, my husband is a union member, so he has work dues that come due, and that's 250, and those are yearly. Costco membership, that's $120 a year. Now that I think about it, I do not know why I have that in the yearly account because we have the executive membership and that usually covers this amount. So I might have to go back to the drawing board, but it's also just good to have it there if need be. So, and then we have my car registration set at 400. I think that's right, but I don't know. My husband's car is set at 500 for his registration. We pay our car insurance every six months and it's $1,400 every six months. Then we have our trailer registration, which is 150. And then one of our credit cards has an annual fee of $95. So for the year, all of this comes out to $3,015. I divided that by 12, which gave us 251. A month and then I divided it by four because my husband gets paid uh, weekly so I just do four paychecks a month which came out to 62.81 so I estimated it to $63 weekly so that's how you see that right there so that's our yearly account and then a new one that I added was stickers and planners because I do like to buy stickers for my budgets, my planning, all of that. So um, I wanna start setting aside a little bit of money for that. And that's gonna be kept on a, in a bank account because obviously where I buy them is from Etsy. So a bank account is needed for that. Then we have family birthdays. And this is for our family of six. So we put, I try to put $100 a month, which is $25 a week, into the account so when birthdays come around, because September's a heavy, heavy birthday month for us, um, there's like money for cake, you know, a dinner, and maybe a small gift, whatever. So there will at least be some money put aside for that anniversary but I'm going to change this account to date night and this is also held in the bank I'm going to change it to date night because we do use it for date nights and then also our anniversary so we have that set up to just take out $50 a month once and then I have gifts and I have ASN if you see that that means as needed um, so that is also held in a bank account Medical, this covers doctor's appointments, uh, co-payments, and prescriptions. And that's as needed as well. And then we have family clothing and shoes. And I'm trying to do a weekly amount of $12.50, but monthly $50. Um, and see how that goes. That may need to be bumped up because we are a big family. And the ones who always need clothes and shoes are mostly our kids. So, and they seem to grow out of things every six months. Like they change clothes with the seasons and they need new things. So that might have to change. Then we have work supplies and this covers my husband's tools, pants, clothing, stuff like that. And I have it set monthly at $50, weekly at $12.50. Christmas. Um, also known as our Santa Saver account, and that gets taken out monthly once for $75. And then we have, this is also new, which is kids, and I decided to put this line in there because as class mom, I find myself buying things for their classroom, for their holidays, classroom supplies, just because I'm like so in the know with the teachers. Not so in the know, but I mean, I obviously talk to them, so I know what they need in their classroom. So I tend to be helpful and buy for them. 
So I decided to do like a kids. And then also this covers field trips as well. Those little um, admission fees and stuff like that. So that's $10 a week. And then shenanigans. I have this also in a cash envelope, but I also do have it in a bank account too. So I have to really decide what's going to be happening with that one because I, I feel like it's going to get confusing. So those are the sinking funds going forward. As you can see, I have some coming out weekly. Um, like I mentioned, ASN means as needed. And then we do have some that come out monthly. Now, they're also there. I cannot fill all of these up with one with the paychecks so i created actually i did not create but i saw someone who also got paid weekly and did her cash stuffings weekly so she kind of came up with this tracking for how she does it um she put her cash stuffing dates up there now i kind of in march tried to do something very similar but I just couldn't get a hold of it. This is what I tried to do in March right here. Put the pay periods down and then the amount that I contributed each pay period. And these um, were abbreviated for the sinking funds. But it didn't work out. So I saw um, a girl on here. I think her channel is called Kristen Budgets. And once I saw her, how she kind of set it up, it gave me the idea on how I need to do it for mine because I'm also paid or my husband's paid weekly. So um, let's go ahead and get walking through this cash envelopes and sinking funds. So all the ones up here are our cash envelopes. So haircuts has a beginning balance of 20. Holidays has a beginning balance of 72. Beauty. 35 has a beginning balance. Car maintenance has a beginning balance of 110. Family adventures has a beginning balance of 165. Family pictures, 20. Firewood and propane, 30. Because this is a new cash envelope, I'm going to go, it's starting off at zero. And then our emergency fund has 800. I do need to reimburse um, this envelope and the firewood envelope and the family adventures envelope because we did borrow from that. So we're gonna reimburse that today as well. And then all of these with a little star by them are marked for the bank account ones. So um, extra car payment, our yearly account has a beginning balance of 1301.84. Family birthdays has a beginning balance of $445.53. Date nights, beginning balance of 200. Gifts, medical, family clothing, all have a starting balance of zero. My husband's work supplies, beginning balance of 10. Christmas, 975.22, which I'm super excited. That looks super good going forward that we have that much. Stickers and planners, this is was new too, so it has a starting balance of five. Shenanigans, um, you saw in my April budget um, that this line is in our main checking account and it has 7136, so I had to start in balance, 2636, and then from this paycheck, I was, we were able to add 45. Um, kids has zero, we're gonna contribute zero this pay period because I went ahead and bought classroom supplies last paycheck. And then my kids do have their own cash envelopes. And so I'm kind of keeping track of it right here. So um, if they decide to spend money, because sometimes I have a hard time spending money on the stuff that they want to get just for fun, and I just can't do it. So I'm very happy that our... Um, family is able to provide them and they can spend it however they want. So that's how it goes right there. And so that's their line and I will try to keep track of it the best I can. So, <clears throat> so for this pay period, we're going to contribute $125 to um, our cash envelopes and 
of that 125 I transferred $28 to family birthday. So it's actually, we're gonna stuff only $97 into our cash envelopes. And then for the ones that are in the bank account, I already transferred that 125 so their money is already on the line, if that makes sense. And so then, um, let's go ahead and get started. All shipped up here. So let's go ahead and start with holidays. Holidays, um, we're gonna go ahead and do $10. And remember that had a starting balance of 72. So now we should have two, four, six, 70, 82. So that has 82 now which I don't even know what the next holiday is now. For April, May, Mother's Day, I'm not sure. Okay, so then Haircuts has a starting balance of 20. I'm gonna go ahead and contribute $20 to that because you never know when one of my boys is gonna need a haircut. So that's that. And then this is also where I keep the kids' money in this one. And that one's already set up. Now, some of these I do not have a cash envelope for, so I have to make new ones, which I'm super excited about. So hopefully I have those done for next week as well. So beauty, like you can see, this obviously does not fit in here. So I'm gonna have to make a new one for that. So beauty is gonna get, it has a beginning balance of 35 and it's gonna get 20. So now it has 55, so 20, 40, 50, and five. So 55 on there. And then car maintenance has 110, two, four, six, eight, 110, and we're contributing $5 to that because it's Pretty full for um, the oil change that I'm gonna need. And then Family Adventures is getting 35, right? Is this the one? Yeah, 35. So I have to pay It back because I borrowed $30 from there. So that's going to cover what I borrowed. And then from this paycheck for Family Adventures, we're contributing $5. So that's going to put us, I believe, at 200. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, Seventy, eighty, five, eighty-six, eighty-seven, eighty-eight, eighty-nine, ninety, ninety-one, ninety-two, three, ninety-four, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, two hundred. I might have to do a bill exchange on that one. So family adventures is set up for two hundred dollars. Now, I just need to set up our family adventure. Where are we going? So then, moving on to family pictures. This has a starting balance of 20, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Now I'm gonna go ahead and contribute five. I'm counting like this because I don't wanna shake the camera too much. So 25 is in there now for family pictures. 
and then a propane and firewood. I'm reimbursing that with 20 because that's what we borrowed. And then um, from this pay period, we're contributing 15. So 35, I should have 55 in here now. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. Oh. Do I have that right? Am I supposed to reimburse that one or a different one? I'll have to double check which one I have to reimburse. I'm pretty sure it's firewood. <clears throat> Okay, and then lastly, for second to last, I'm going to put the $200 back into our emergency fund. And so now that is back up to $1,000. And then I'm going to go ahead, the last one I have to stuff is the $17 for my hair, which is a new envelope. So I need to make an envelope for that. And I'm just going to say hair and highlights. Now we'll cover um, highlights, haircut, and a style. Okay. And I know you've seen in the past that I usually play a game, a savings game, but um, unfortunately not this week are we going to do that. All right, you guys. So that are my sinking funds and my cash envelopes. This are one of my funner videos that I like to do. So if this is something you like, please let me know. Tell me in the comments um, if this is a video you enjoy, how you keep your sinking funds and your cash envelopes. If you do both, one or the other, tell me in the comments. Um, other than that, please hit the like button if this is something you like to see. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.